Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word. Hallelujah. Today, I want us to study something, but we'll study backwards first. We'll start from the desired result, the plan, and then the process. I want us to, to go into the book of um, Matthew chapter 14. We will start from, uh, we will read um, from verse 34 to 36. Then we will come back and start from verse 22. Verse uh, 34. I will be reading from the King James Version. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about, and brought unto him all that were diseased, and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. So the reason for him being there, the goal, was for this folk to be made perfectly whole. That was the divine plan. Now let's go and start from verse 22. So, this was the will of God for these people to be made perfectly whole. That was God's will. Now, the, the preparation. I'll read from verse 22. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, see the preparation now, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. So he was praying in preparation for this will of God, where everybody who touched the hem of his garment was to be made perfectly whole. So, so to speak, he had prepared himself for to execute or carry out the will of God. So everything he was doing now was in the will of God. Now see in the process what transpired. That should give you some confidence and some, some um, should put you in a situation where you do not lack courage, that you do not beat yourself about, that you should know that whilst you are in the plan and the purposes of God, because of the plan, usually the enemy has an inkling that something is amiss, that there's some malady that is about to come to his kingdom. And he tries to thwart it by creating situations and circumstances as obstacles, trying to dissuade you from carrying out your divine mandate or carrying out the will of God. You are in God's will, you are in God's plan, but he puts obstacles in the way. Now look at this. Remember he had told the disciples to go across with the sheep. And then he went to prepare for what he was going to do. After he had finished preparing, time for the uh, disciples to come and pick him up. There was an issue. But, verse 24. But the sheep was now in the midst of the sea tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. This was the ship that was supposed to come and pick him up to go to carry out his ministry. It, it now met with adversity. Definitely it was the devil who created this storm to try and prevent some people from receiving from the ministry of Jesus and prevent Jesus from carrying out his divine mandate. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. So you see, he didn't pay attention to this storm. He didn't pay attention to this thing, trying to prevent him from carrying out the will of God. He, he pressed on. Say, if the boat is not available, I'll walk across. So he didn't look at that as an obstacle. He bypassed it. He overheard and ignored, so to speak. And then he walked. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. 
But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. This makes you understand that where there is a divine mandate, the same thing Jesus did, where he did not pay attention to the elements, the obstacles, you could walk over those obstacles. You have, you've been empowered to. But look at the problem with Peter. But when he saw the wind boisterous, so he, he looked around and saw how fierce the opposition appeared to be. Fear now came. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, that's you that has so little confidence, you've been charged by me. And you don't have confidence that when I've charged you to do something, I, I empower you over those obstacles. O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. This tells you that the sole purpose of that wind being boisterous was to try and prevent Jesus from going across to carry out his mandate. But because he did not pay any attention to it, he died naturally. He pressed on as if he didn't exist. As soon as they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Genesaret. And then the plan of God was fulfilled. As they brought these ones who were sick, they laid hands on his garment, and they were made perfectly whole. Everyone, say, as many as touched were made perfectly whole. So, like I said, I have taken you through the, the goal the preparation, the process. And in between, in that process, between the, the preparation and the goal, the end, the end point, there was an obstacle to try and dissuade him from carrying out and fulfilling his mandate. But he didn't pay attention to that obstacle. He walked across and he, he showed us that, like, like, like he showed with Peter, that you can, as a man, Walk over those things. As long as you are empowered by him with his word, if he says come, you come. And you should not be afraid. God bless you. Hallelujah.